Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at how we can model out the Sydney Opera House using functions like surface from network of curves, surface from two, three, or four edge curves. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is bring in the elevation because that helps us define the shell structure that we need to use. So we use the add a picture plane option from surface creation tools and then place it in our front view. And now the next thing what you're going to do is it's going to outline our shapes using interpolate curves. So we'll go up the front view and go to our interpolate curves and just outline the shape that we have. Now the method I'm going to use is basically I'm going to define the start and end point. And then I'm going to use my control points to uh, give it the shape or outline that we needed to follow. So now that we have our elevation lines defined, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make uh, our curves non-planar in uh, by moving the control points in the top view. And once you're satisfied with that, we can just connect the base as well. And we have our first curve ready. Now, similarly, we're going to use that same process and we're going to define the other curves as well. So select them in your front view and make the edits in your top view. Now, once you're done with all your curves and you've uh, made, uh, connected all the edges, all we need to do is use our surface from two, three or four edge curves to get the shell structure up. So you can see once you do your surface and network of curves, you're going to get half of your particular shell. So if you look at the image, you can see what you're creating is basically we're trying to get just half of this particular shell because since most of these shells are symmetric all we need to do is create one of them and then create the other side of it by mirroring this is basically going to speed up the process in creating our models so now that we have this first option now we just mirror it along this plane and make sure that your copy is as yes you can see that we have our first option now we just repeat this for the rest of the curves that we have created. Here you can see we are slowly getting the shape. Now what we are going to do is we are going to select two of these and then join them. So that we have one poly surface. Similarly these two. And these. Okay, so now that you can see these are all poly surfaces. The reason why I've created them as poly surfaces and joined them is because the next thing that we need to do is we need to offset this particular surface. So type in offset surface. And we can do a flip all so it goes outwards and keep your distance as whatever is ideal. And you can also just ensure that you choose your solid as yes. You can see we get the thickness as well. So follow the same process for the rest of it. So now that we have the shell thicknesses, the next thing that we need to do is 
we need to give it the glass detail on the inside. But before that, what we'll do is we're going to just create this smaller one, which is there here. Now that we have the shapes, uh, the non planar nature defined, we just need to create the surface out of these as well. Also created. We just need to make sure that we move them <coughs> to the right position. For that, all we need to do is look at the reference in our images that we have. So you can see that this particular smaller structure that we have created right now is pushed slightly away from the central structure. So we're going to make that particular change right now. And you can see this is also kind of rotated. So we're going to make that rotation also. And now what you're going to do is you can see that we have a copy of a few set of these uh, shell structures that are there in the front to the other side. And uh, the backmost shell structure is different in size from the one that we have created. So we make the copy of the others and we'll adjust the shape of the one behind accordingly. So hold Alt and using the gumball you can create a copy. And now we just rotate this to fall it into the correct shape and location. And once we're satisfied with where we've placed it, the next thing that we need to do is create the smaller shape of this. For that, all I'm going to do is scale this particular curve that we have here down. This episode of this as well. And now my other final surface. Join them. And now offset this surface as well along with the earlier one that we created. Now you can see we have the base shape of our shell structures. Now we just need to create the joining detail for the ones that are there. So the first step that we need to do is we need to create the glass detail for it. Another thing that we could do is we can just first of all just remove these and we are going to just create the glass detail for these three and then copy it so that we don't have to do that work again. 
So for this, what we need to do is we need to get the edges on this particular surface. So what I'm going to use is basically a function called extract isocurve. And then you select the surface and you can see we can define the isocurve that we need to get. So you can toggle the direction how you need. I'm going to just change that to a different layer so that we can see that clearly on the surface. And then repeat the same thing for the other surfaces as well. Then I'll just create a line joining the two edges that we just join the two curves that we just created. And now once you're done with this, all you can all you need to do is use your sweep to or you can use surface on two, three, or four edge curves, either one. <clears throat> So now we just repeat the same process for the rest of the result. So now that we've created that detail, now we're just going to create a copy of this set of shell structures. Then rotate them about this point. Now the last thing that we need to do is we just need to fill in the spaces in between. And if you look at the images again, you can see that the type of detail that we have to create is something like, like this. So again, for this all we need to do is create one of these and then we can just mirror it to the other side and get the shape. I'm just creating the two isocles so that I have a uh, intersection point two connected to now using interpret curves is going to join from this edge to that intersection point and then using our control points is going to give it the particular outline that we need Now that we have these edges, all we need to do is create a surface out of them. Using your same surface on 2, 3, 4 edge curves, you can get that shape. And now all you need to do is mirror this again. You can see we have that shape done. Now just repeat the same process for the rest of the shapes. You can use different kind of edges just to define it differently because I don't want to make it look too similar to the surface now. That's why I'm doing this particular part of it differently. Now that we have all these connecting paths, last thing that we need to do is join this particular edge and for the smaller one as well 
to do that what you're going to do is you're going to create an interpolate curve between these two edges just make sure that the edges are touching so that we can get a clean shape and accordingly this one this point the edge now to find another interpolate curve from this edge point to this curve and define the curvature for that as well using your gumball and moving the control points and now using surface and metric of curves we can get the shape that we need Similarly, we can just mirror this for the other edge. Now we do the same thing for this particular model as well. You can see that we have our surface grid and lastly we should do it for the outermost one repeat the same process once you do this you have your shell structures defined and you have the Sydney Opera House model done now the last thing I'll need to do is trying to find the base for this particular shape And we have the model complete. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our YouTube page for more videos on various other softwares as well. And I'll see you guys.